Hello everyone. Today we are exploring global forest chains in Arc Engine. Uh, we are trying to learn forest chains analysis, and we are doing this by Hansen et al. In this data set, uh, the bands are very much important. Uh, we have the three bands, tree cover thousand, loss, and kin. Uh, we also have a red band, near infrared band, and two shortwave bands from the year 2000. And similarly, uh, the four bands uh, from the last year of the study, and another band is loss here, uh, which represents the year. Uh, here we have the loss year, which, uh, which represents the year uh, with the loss of forest. Uh, so it ranges from zero to 20. So we are um, using this quote from the guide already available from developers.google.com. Uh, if someone is uh, new to this, I believe it would be helpful. Uh, this is the summary, or you can say overview of the guides uh, available here. Uh, we will work in three things. First is visualization, as the first change is about visualizing most of the time. Uh, second is we want to quantify the change. And the thirdly, we want to present them in uh, some charts. So we have here the first chunk of codes, we want to uncomment this one. So the first one is with the, uh, just adding the normal, uh, only the image as the layer. And the second, we have the um, bands chosen as tree cover thousand. And in the third, we have the three different bands that is SWIR, NIR, and RIT from the last year and which appears as false color. And finally, we have the bands uh, specified as loss, trick thousand and get. And we want to run this. So, uh, in the first case, everything appears as red. Uh, it is because the first band is only involved in the very first band, that is shriek of thousand, and the other two bands are uh, in the uh, binary value. So one of the read is being dominant here. And in the second case, when we specify the bands, it appears in a gray color. And uh, and in the third case, and in the third layer, we have the three different bands at it, and this again I R is particularly related to the plant. And this is the uh, visualization of the vegetation. And finally, we are going to have the layer as green because the one of the tree cover thousand has been highlighted because the two other bands have the binary uh, values. So for all bands to have uh, uh, the visualized uh, so we, we want to have uh, the maximum visualizing parameter uh, mentioned here in maximum. And we want to have loss as one and recover as 255. And again, this is the stretched of the stretching of the values. And this time uh, we see all the bands here. Let us run this and it's loading. So um, a very wonderful thing here is that uh, it appears that there is some kind of overlay of the colors and loss appears as orange with red and green and the gain as pink uh, with the combinations of green, bright red and bright blue. So this is just the overlay of different years and it's very beautiful to visualize and really understand what's going on. So, let me further uncomment the codes. So again, for the single band to appear, we use palette here. Uh, and we also add the maximum uh, in the uh, second case here. So what really happens is when we just add the palette, uh, the color is of course green, but it is very little dark. But when you stretch to maximum value, 
so it becomes a little bright. So that's the difference here. So it keeps on rolling. So you can see here the images, the layers are being loaded. So, and uh, if we mask uh, the image with itself, uh, we can mask the area uh, where all the values are zero. Now, for example, oceans uh, appear, uh, appear as dark uh, uh, in this whole layers. So we want to have the ocean as normal, uh, so we want to exclude that one. So for that case, when you run this with image.mask, the image, and we are just masking itself. And so the other areas just appears as uh, that there is no values or it doesn't appear as black. So you can see the Atlantic Ocean as just as normal. And only the lens or the areas with the tree cover is only appearing as, appearing as green. So we also have a similar process as OVO. Uh, but this time, what we're doing is we want to select the bands, and each band is added as layer. So it is the same thing. This appears it has a uh, it appears as the overlapping of the different layers. And in each layer, uh, we have the uh, tree cover, and we have the loss image, and we have the key image. Uh, we are adding the three different layers. Uh, and the overlay does the similar way as we did before. So uh, this is all about visualization. Uh, of course, the guide uh, provides much more uh, all these things in more detailed way. Okay, let's move to quantifying the forest change. So let me uncomment name first. So here we select the two bands, that is loss and gain. Um, and we want to have uh, both the values as one, uh, where loss is one and gain is one as well. And we add it as layer again. Uh, so when we run this, so this is uh, this was not particularly in Nepal, uh, but in the US, if you see this, uh, there are uh, states such as Arkansas and other states, uh, which has the, which has this uh, layer particularly visible. So if we, it's, it's taking time. So here we have the, let me just take them. So, so if we see here, um, this is the layer with the loss and gain image where both values are one. Um, so uh, for this case, we want to quantify uh, this data from Nepal. And for this case, we want to select the country from large scale international boundary data set. And we are selecting Nepal. And we do this by e.filter.eq and the country name has to be Nepal. And this has been stored at as in the variable named MP. So for the pixel calculation, so here we have the pixel calculation. Um, we reduce the region by the reducer, uh, e dot reducer dot sum. And we have the geometry as NP and we provide the scale value as 30. And here we see when you run this, it just has too many pixels. Uh, for this, we want to reduce resolution. Um, here we can see the error misses as the uh, suggestion uh, that we, provide, we can provide the maximum pixels and calculate the number of pixels of forest uh, loss in Nepal. So we do this again. This time we provide the maximum pixels. So the uh, involvement of maximum pixels is to uh, suggest that uh, only certain uh, maximum pixels to be calculated or to involve certain uh, pixels. So when we run this this time, so 
So we have here, this is the number of pixels here. And what we want to do now is from that calculate pixels, we want to convert it to the area by ee.image.pixel area. area. So here we have the words for them. So when we uh, specify ee.image.pixel area, uh, we convert the pixels that we calculated, that we summed uh, into the area. And we divide it by, uh, so it can be converted into a square kilometer. And we, um, after selecting this uh, variable here, we want to reduce region and reduce with the same process. The only difference is that we were uh, calculating this time in the uh, kilometer square. And we certainly get some values here, uh, 647.67 square kilometer. So it represents the area um, that has been uh, lost uh, in all these years. So um, well, we further, we want to chart, uh, a generated chart of the forest lost by the year. And for this, for this year, we want to, what we're doing is we are selecting the band loss. And that uh, band is being converted into area. And again, we are dividing to convert it into kilometer square. And similarly, we are selecting the loss here. And that has been uh, uh, converting the result uh, to the loss by the year. And here together, what we're doing here is uh, we are selecting both the loss and loss year and uh, calculating um, into a group. So it calculates in that way that group is uh, generated and the sum is generated side by side. So if you see here, we have uh, groups and we have the sum, group and sum. So, so um, the important thing is we want to have those uh, uh, values of the uh, result as the dictionary and we will have the year uh, and the loss value together. Uh, this is for the uh, easy application literature in building the uh, final chart. So here we are selecting the uh, group. We are selecting the, sorry, we are formatting the date and we are similarly calculating this sum. And if we see this, what we are just doing is, uh, this seems uh, very different, but uh, the loss by year that we uh, resulted that we were, that we uh, that we resulted before uh, has been converted into a very nice uh, object. Like here, in every year we have in the years and the values. So that's just the uh, working the uh, arranging of the data. So finally, this time uh, we are we can. Generate the chart, we are using ui.chart array values. Uh, and here we have the array as values. Uh, and uh, that is the loss value and X level as the year. And we are setting the chart type for form chart, that is bar chart. And we generate the bar chart like this and all other, other parameters of the chart as horizontal and vertical axis and others. And we bring the chart. And when you run this, we get the chart here. So here we have the chart here. And this is the chart we get. And this is the yearly forest loss. Um, it, it is in a uh, square kilometer. And this is how we get the chart. And uh, uh, maybe the uh, we want to visualize uh, one year of the country. Uh, we can surely visualize the uh, forest and different layers of one year of the country. Uh, for that, we can surely do what you can do here is 
uh, we can select the layer from the, and we're just using the, uh, selecting the country, and we want to clip it by zip, that is our country. And if you this, this gives us the one of the country Nepal. And we can here we can see all these layers one if often Paul. So it this was an attempt to explain and uh, help you understand uh, a little bit about the forest change or forest analysis, forest change analysis process. Hope this was helpful um, at least some extent. Um, so. Thank you for watching.